The chair would now recognize the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Nugent, for five minutes. Speaker, to revise and extend. Without, exec without exception, so ordered. Objections. Mr. Speaker, I think we can all agree that integrity of our elections are of fundamental importance to this democracy. We need to ensure that everyone who is eligible to vote has the ability to vote, and those that are ineligible to vote are stopped from voting in our elections. We also have a responsibility to ensure that, you know, that this responsibility falls largely on the states to ensure that voters have the right to vote that are eligible to. They do this by making sure that their voter rolls are clean, that their voter rolls are accurate. It's important that the states have the ability to do that. In my own state of Florida and others throughout this country, the federal government is being asked to help. The Department of Homeland Security in particular has been unwilling to help those states that are asking for it. Mr. Speaker, DHS is denying Florida the process to access what is called the Systematic Alienation Verification Entitlement Database, or SAVE, as it's commonly referred to. SAVE undoubtedly is the best database for the states to use to cross-reference and cross-check their voter rolls for eligible or ineligible voters. DHS is denying this access to the database despite its own documents and regulations clearly stating that SAVE, for voter registration purposes, is one of the permissible uses. This is within their own documents as it relates to the operation of DHS. By denying access to SAVE database, DHS is preventing states from ensuring the best, to the best of their ability that the integrity of our elections are saved and persevered. As we move forward with appropriations for Homeland Security, I feel we need to acknowledge that DHS refusal to meet this basic need and a basic request of our states. DHS's stonewalling is not something the people of Florida deserve, and it certainly isn't something that elected officials should tolerate. Mr. Speaker, Flor Floridians should not be denied the right to the fairest and most accurate election possible. Florida's Floridians' votes should not be diminished because of a political maneuvering by a federal agency. No vote should be counted when it's, when it's cast by someone who is not eligible to vote in the United States, vis-a-vis -vis they're not a citizen of this country. DS, DHS, through their SAVE program, has the ability to pass that information on to states. Florida is not the only state that has requested this information from DHS. DHS has a, I believe, an ethical responsibility to provide that information because it's contained within their own bylaws and operation procedures within that Department of Homeland Security. And they have just stonewalled the states in regards to them trying to make sure their voter rolls are the most accurate possible. Mr. Speaker, I believe that they are doing a disservice to the American public. Every vote should count. Every vote should count. And DHS should be required to submit the information to the states so they can make sure that their voter rolls are as accurate as possible. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. Chair would now recognize the gentleman from